Yes. Let us consider this problem. Uh, X and Y are independent exponential variates with parameters 1. Find the PDF of X minus Y. We are going to use transformation of random variables to solve this problem. See, it is given that X follows exponential distribution with parameter 1 which implies f of x is equal to e power minus x when x is greater than or equal to 0. And y follows exponential distribution with parameter 1 implies f of y is equal to e power minus y when y is greater than or equal to 0, 0 otherwise. Now f of x comma y is f of x into f of y because it is given that x and y are independent, right? since x and y are independent. So you have e power minus x into e power minus y that is equal to e power minus x plus y when x and y are greater than or equal to 0. Fine. Now uh, let us consider this new variable. Let uh, a is equal to x minus y and uh, let b is equal to y. So which implies a is equal to x minus b and y is equal to b which implies x is equal to a plus b and y is equal to b. Okay. Now let us go for Jacobian of transformation dou x by dou a do x by do b, do y by do a, do y by do b. Yes, do x by do a is 1, do x by do b is 1, do y by do a is 0, do y by do b is 1. So, Jacobian of transformation is 1. Now, g of a comma b is equal to f of x comma y into Jacobian of transformation that is e power minus x plus y into 1. But what is x? x is a plus b. Right? And y is b. So you have e power minus a plus 2b. What is the range for a and b? a plus b is greater than or equal to 0 and b is greater than or equal to 0 because x is greater than or equal to 0 means a plus b is greater than or equal to 0. y is greater than or equal to 0 means b is greater than or equal to 0. Now see, uh, let us uh, find the region of integration. See, the first information is a plus b greater than or equal to 0. Let us first write an equation for this a plus b equal to 0 a is equal to 0 implies b is equal to 0. a is equal to 1 implies b is equal to minus 1. And the next information that is to be represented is b greater than or equal to 0. For which you are going to consider the equation b is equal to 0. Let us find the region of integration. Right. Um, this is a axis which means it is the equation b equal to 0. This is b axis, right? Uh, for, let us first plot these points, a comma b, right? Right? 1 comma minus 1. 1 comma minus 1 is here. So, when you join these two points, this line is a plus b is equal to 0. Now which is your region? Right? This line is a plus b equal to 0. Which is your region? The region above the line or the region below the line? Let us take a testing point 1 comma 0. Go to this equation 1 plus 0 is 1 greater than 0. So this uh, point 1 comma 0 is satisfying this condition. So this is your if one point above the line satisfies the condition all the points above the line will satisfy the condition. Okay, So b equal to 0, b greater than 0 means this upper quadrants. Okay, Now 
your line your area should be above this line and above this line so what is the indication this is your region of integration right now you are supposed to find g of b with this idea now g of a comma b is known to you so for finding g of b you should integrate g of a comma b with respect to you want g of a right a is okay you want g of a so you should integrate g of a comma b with respect to b listen you want the distribution of what x minus y x minus y is a so you want g of a so you should integrate this g of a comma b with respect to b so with respect to b means uh, what limit should i substitute this graph says your area is from this line to infinity up to this and then here from here it is from this line to infinity so i should consider two areas right a, when <coughs> a is less than or equal to 0 g of a is equal to i should integrate g of a comma b from this line what is the range in this line b is equal to minus a and here b is equal to infinity yes minus a to infinity g of a comma b see which is here e power minus a e power minus 2b db right take e power minus a outside e power minus 2b on integration gives e power minus 2b by minus 2 minus a to infinity is to be substituted so you get e power minus a by minus 2 into e power minus infinity is 0 when you substitute a here my yes when you substitute minus a for b it becomes e power 2a right plus it becomes plus 2a so ultimately your answer is minus into minus plus e power minus a into e power 2a by 2 and this on simplification gives 2a minus a a right e power a by 2 when a is less than or equal to 0 now let us go to the other range when a is greater than 0 g of a is integral g of a comma b db what is the range here 0 to infinity right so integral 0 to infinity e power minus a e power minus 2b db take e power minus a outside e power minus 2b by minus 2 when you substitute the limits e power minus a by minus 2 on substitution the upper limit e power minus infinity becomes 0 when you substitute 0 uh, for b it becomes 1 so you get minus into minus plus e power minus a by 2 for this range so let us summarize now g of a is equal to e power a by 2 when a is less than or equal to 0 and e power minus a by 2 when a is greater than 0 right so this is how you find the distribution of uh, the difference of variables using the concept of transformation of random variables fine thank you